<laughs> Today we're going paddle boarding and Heart Racer is coming with us. <laughs> There's no dignity left at all. <laughs> so we went to the uh, boat store and got Mrs. W needed a new um, life jacket. And Jack came up with a heart with a life jacket for Heart Racer. And I thought that's the most ridiculous thing I'd ever seen. And of course the salesman said, well, you know, little dogs, I've seen them sink before. And well, that's all he had to say. That's to all he had to say. <laughs> so Heart Racer, she's going to come with us today. And she is not, excited to be on the on the paddleboard. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, she sorry. no love, huh? Oh. You can tell when her racer's mad because oh, it's just not so bad. Right, so we're gonna go get the paddleboard. It's pretty busy. Here's Jax. pretty windy today. It is very windy today. I hope Heart Racer likes their new outfit. Why do we have Sony on here? It's a camera mount. Heart Racer, are you hiding under the van? Do you not want to get found so we can't pick you up? It's hmm? fair. It isn't fair? There you go. Thank you. So now we're attaching the fin on here, right, Papa? Yep, Mama's has got a removable fin on it. I was wondering why it wasn't sticking up like all the, of ours. Yeah. The Jack's paddle's got a dolphin on it. Me. Nice. I did not choose that paddle. So this is the first time for Heart Racer to be on the water, it is. on a paddleboard. I don't know what to expect, but here, here I've got a life jacket. Can you take your leash? <laughs> sure. I think you have a pocket in your vest. All right, you ready, Heart Racer? Hold on, let's see how it goes. <laughs> She's trying to paddle. She's trying to paddle. She's great. She might try to swim. Come on! Come on! You can do it! Oh, it's easier that way. You're so big! You're so big! Try holding her above the water, Papa. Hold her above the water? And, oh, she'll swim. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Beaver! 
Party party. <laughs> Good morning. It's another beautiful day high up in the mountains of the Cascade Range of the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Man, we had a good time yesterday taking Heart Racer out on the paddle boards. I think she liked it. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I've got some news for you. So do you live at or near West Bend, Wisconsin? Because we will be there very shortly. July 9th and 10th, West Bend, Wisconsin, we will be speaking at the Mother Earth News Fair. Uh, we'll be doing a uh, question and answer, and then also be doing, a, I'll be speaking or giving a lecture that's an hour long on are the old tools still relevant. So we invite you to come on out and make sure that you order your passes online. I'll put a link to the website in the subject heading. You can just type in MotherEarthNewsFair.com. And that will take you there and give you the speaking schedule and all of that. In addition to that, we've got some free tickets to give away. So if you would like to enter in to win weekend passes for your family, simply just comment on this video. Uh, comment and leave a message. Uh, make sure that you put the wording Mother Earth News Fair tickets. And we will randomly pick five families for weekend passes. Uh, I really encourage you to come out. There's some wonderful people there. It's a wonderful experience. The nice thing about it is kids, I believe, double check this, but 16 and under are free. So if you have a large family, it's very affordable. We'll also be doing a book signing. Um, and so come on out. We really uh, look forward to these. And I guess the thing that I enjoy the most about this is, um, is get, getting to meet uh, all those numbers. What I mean by numbers is when you're on this end of the computer and, and you see the viewers and you see these things, sometimes it's hard to put a face on them. And the thing that uh, is so uh, such a blessing for us is to be able to come out and to meet you all, and it puts uh, names and lives, I, I guess attaches it to those numbers. And every time we come back, we're super fired up and, and super motivated to continue doing what we do because because it matters and it's something worth doing. We're really looking forward to heading up to Wisconsin. Um, been up there a couple times. Mrs. W's got some good friends there. And I'll never forget one of the very first wildland fires I was on, the IC or the incident commander. He was, uh, I think he was a Uper, UP, Upper Peninsula. I don't know exactly all the terminology, but he was from up there and he had the delightful accent. And I, I'll try to mimic it here it said he he stood up in front of us and said uh okay then uh, i guess we're just gonna go ahead and go on up there and put out that fire eh <laughs> we, uh, everyone laughed i'll never forget that he was just just a delightful man uh as so many of um as uh good midwest folks are assault of the earth uh, uh for sure one last thing before I close. So, uh, oh, I was really touched by all of the comments from the last video talking about um, was the power of divorce. You know, this Jesse story and the video that he told me. And I guess one thing that troubled me a little bit on that was um, many guys um, kind of jumped on there and were a little bit hard on Jesse by saying things like, you know, you need to get over it, stop whining and stop being such a baby and pull yourself up and, and deal with it. And, and there's a lot of guys that have had to deal with worse than, than what you've had to deal with. And, and I hate to see that because it, it's, um, it's a very self-centered and, and very short-sighted comment. Just because maybe you had uh, have been blessed with the gifts to have that, that fortitude to pull yourself up out of a difficult situation doesn't necessarily mean that everyone else has. 
And it's like uh, an NBA player to, 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 that would you know go stuff the basketball and and then turn to you at five foot eight, five foot seven, and say, "Go ahead, go and do it." And and you're just not physically able to do it, and then mocking you for it. You know, it's not that you're a less of a man because you can't stuff a basketball. It's just that you haven't been given that gift. And maybe the man that is five seven, five eight has been given and most likely has been given gifts that, that the basketball player doesn't. I mean, it's not a perfect analogy, but we, I, you know, I think we just need to step back a little bit and, and to not judge everyone so harshly by our own standards. And some people are more emotional than others. Some people are more sensitive than, than others. And what Jesse had to overcome or what you had to overcome, you know, just because you may have been in the similar circumstance, doesn't mean that it was, that, that it was just as that it was an equal measure. That's all I'm trying to say. So you know, it's, we're just so hard on each other. We're so hard on ourselves. And and I think I just think we need to step back a little bit and, and, and realize that we don't know everything. We don't know what that person has went through. And we don't know the tools that God has given them in their toolbox and to have a little kindness and have a little compassion towards one another. I think that would go a long, long ways. All right. Well, I'm happy to report the heart racer as well. She slept very hard last night, uh, but that little dog has the courage of a lion, and boy, we had a good time with her yesterday. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video, and happy 4th of July if we don't see you tomorrow.